Good morning and welcome to, this for, to worship this first Sunday in Lent. Pastor Pat is out of town this weekend, but we'll, we'll be preaching and celebrating Holy Communion on a separate live stream immediately following this one. So stay tuned. I'm Amy Peterson, and I'm here, to worship, here with worship assistant Donna Leitsky, organist Marlene Graf, and Carla on tech to lead us in liturgy, the readings, prayer, and song. We begin with confession and forgiveness. Blessed be the Holy Trinity, one God, the keeper of the covenant, the source of steadfast love, our rock and our redeemer. Amen. God hears us when we cry and draws us close in Jesus Christ. Let us return to the one who is full of compassion. Fountain of living water, pour out your mercy over us. Our sin is heavy and we long to be free. Rebuild what we have ruined and mend what we have torn. Wash us in your cleansing flood. Make us alive in the spirit to follow in the way of Jesus as healers and restorers of the world you love, you shall love. Amen. Beloved, God's word never fails. The promise rests on grace. By the saving love of Jesus Christ, the wisdom and power of God, our sins are forgiven, and God remembers them no more. Let us journey in the way of Jesus. Amen. Thank you. 
the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the reign of God and for peace throughout the world, for the unity of all, let us pray to the Lord. Christ, have mercy. For your people of this place gathered to give you praise. For the strength to live your word, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help, save, comfort, and defend us, gracious God. Amen. Let us pray. Gracious God, in the waters of the flood you saved your people, and in the wilderness of temptation you protected your son from sin. Renew us in the gift of baptism. May your holy angels be with us, that no evil, that no evil power claim control over us. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. A reading from Genesis, the ninth chapter. God said to Noah and to his sons with him, As for me, I am establishing my covenant with you and your descendants after you, and with every living creature that is with you, the birds, the domestic animals, and every animal of the earth with you, as many as came out of the ark. I establish my covenant with you, that never again shall all flesh be cut off by the waters of a flood, and never again shall there be a flood to destroy the earth. God said, this is the covenant, this is the sign of the covenant that I make between me and you and every living creature that is with you for all future generations. I have set my bow in the clouds, and it shall be a sign of the covenant between me and the earth. When I bring clouds over the earth and the bow is seen in the clouds, I will remember my covenant that is between me and you and every living creature of all flesh. And the water shall never again become a flood to destroy all flesh. When the bow is in the clouds, I will see it and remember the everlasting covenant between God and every living creature of all flesh that is on the earth. God said to Noah, this is the sign of the covenant that I have established between me and all flesh that is on the earth. Word of God, word of life. Thanks be to God. We read Psalm 25. To you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. My God, I put my trust in you. Let me not be put to shame, nor let my enemies triumph over me. Let none who look to you be put to shame. Rather, let those be put to shame who are treacherous. Show me your ways, O Lord, and teach me your paths. Lead me in your truth and teach me. For you are the God of my salvation. In you have I trusted all the day long. Remember, O Lord, your compassion and love, for they are, ever, for they are from, from everlasting. Remember not the sins of my youth and my transgressions. Remember me according to your steadfast love and for the sake of your goodness, O Lord. You are gracious and upright, O Lord. Therefore, you teach sinners in your way. You lead the lowly in justice and teach your lowly your way. All your paths, O Lord, are steadfast love and faithfulness to those who keep your covenant and your testimonies. A reading from 1 Peter, the third chapter. Christ also suffered for sins once for all, the righteous for the unrighteous, in order to bring you to God. He was put to death in the flesh, but made alive in the spirit, in which also he went and made a proclamation to the spirits in prison, who in former times did not obey, 
when God waited patiently. In the day. Sorry. When God waited patiently in the days of Noah during the building of the ark, in which a few, that is, eight persons, were saved through water. And baptism, which this prefigured, now saves you, not as a removal of dirt from the body, but as an appeal to God for a good conscience through the resurrection of Jesus Christ, who has gone into heaven and is at the right hand of God with angels, authorities, and powers made subject to him. Word of God, word of life. Thanks be to God. Let us profess our faith together using the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again, he ascended into heaven, he is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray boldly for the church, the world, and all who are in need. Relying on you, O God of our salvation, we pray for the church throughout the world that strengthened by the promises of baptism, we discern your way of tr truth and justice and reject the attractive lures of evil. Sustain those Christians who are beset with temptations of hardship, God of mercy, hear our prayer. 
Grateful for a plenteous creation, we pray that you preserve the wild beasts and keep lands from being flooded by waters. Encourage the, wor the work of biologists, conservationists, and science educators that we will all come to appreciate more about the wonders that you create. God of mercy, hear our prayer. Distressed by injustice and violence, we pray for leaders who govern in our nation and around the world, that they strive for equality and concord in all things and thwart the power and actions of tyrants the world over. God of mercy, hear, hear our prayer. prayer. Alert to the difficulties of winter time, we pray for all who are cold, for all the homeless, for refugees awaiting assistance, for those without power, adequate water and food, and for those whose employment requires them to endure brutal weather. Surround them with a community of concern. God of mercy, hear our prayer. Pained by the suffering of others, we pray for all who have contracted COVID-19, for those who are bowed down by trials of any kind, for those who are isolated and lonely, for those whose suffering is known only to you. We pray especially for those who have asked our prayers, the family and friends of Al Elliott, Clarice, Joyce, Vera, Tom and Kathy, Barb, Katie, Lori, John, Andy, Chase, Gabriella, Marilyn, Jeff, Elvira, Lori, Chad, Dan, and for those we name in our hearts. Bring comfort, courage, health, and wholeness to all who suffer. God of mercy, hear, hear our prayer. prayer. Praying also for ourselves, we ask that your spirit to accompany us through each wilderness that we must endure. Hear now the desires of our hearts. God of mercy, hear, hear our prayer. prayer. We praise you for the Christians of times past who died in their witness to you. Give us the faith that at the end your glory will bring endless beauty to all things. God of mercy, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Into your hands, O God, we commend all for whom we pray, trusting in your mercy through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us pray. Gracious God, who has named and claimed us, calling us your beloved children, you know the secrets of our hearts. When we sin and stray from your paths, you astound us with your saving grace. For this word of life, we give you thanks. Loving Jesus, living word, in you the kingdom of God has come near. Through you all that was lost has been found. Help us to boldly follow wherever you may lead, trusting your promise that we need not fear, for you are with us. For this word of life, we give you thanks. Holy Spirit, the mystery in which we dwell, into our scarcity your abundance flows. Enliven all communities with your good news. Guide us to love and serve Jesus, giving ourselves away for the sake of the word, world. For this word of life, we give you thanks. All the glory to you, holy God, now and forever. Amen. We pray as Jesus has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. We are what God made us to be, created in Christ Jesus for good works, chosen as holy and beloved, freed to serve our neighbors. God bless you that you may be a blessing. In the name of the holy and life-giving Trinity, amen. 
Remember, Pastor Pat will be doing a Facebook live stream a few minutes after the postlude, so stay on Facebook if you're watching now or look for her video if you worship later. Go in peace. Share the good news. Thanks be to God.